So dear students, I am Ponsalvi. Today we are going to see about the four stroke petrol engine. So we are going to see about the introduction to petrol engine. So what is an engine? An engine is nothing but that converts the chemical energy into a mechanical energy. It converts chemical energy into mechanical energy. The chemical energy is nothing but the petrol or diesel. It converts the petrol and diesel into the mechanical energy that is the rotation of the tire or uh, wheel of the vehicle so that only the vehicle starts to move so next there are two types of petrol engine one is two stroke engine and other one is four stroke engine in four stroke engine there are four separate strokes which comprise a single thermodynamic cycle depending upon the movement of piston there are four stroke engines so this is the four stroke engine and next construction here we can see the uh, so here we can see the uh, parts of the uh, petrol engine here we have the inlet pipe here we have the inlet pipe and here is the exhaust exhaust valve here is a spark plug that is used to ignite the uh, petrol inside the cylinder and here is the piston that moves up and downwards and here is the connecting rod and crankshaft depending upon the pist movement of the piston upwards or downwards the connecting rod rotates and the crankshaft which is connected to the connecting rod also rotates the, that uh, will rotate the wheel or tire of the vehicle so there are two walls one is the inlet wall and then the exhaust wall there are four, four types of stroke suction stroke compression stroke power stroke and exhaust stroke so next intake stroke or suction stroke in this intake stroke the inlet valve is kept open and the exhaust valve is closed uh, in this case the pressure in, uh, inside the cylinder is very low inside the cylinder is very low and outside the cylinder that is the atmospheric pressure is very high so that the pressure from the higher area flows towards the lower area so high pressure that is in the atmospheric pressure pressure starts to flow towards the cylinder where the pressure is very low so automatically the um, uh, the cylinder uh, outside the cylinder the fuel and the air mixture comes into the cylinder through the in through this inlet valve this is the intake stroke because it is taking in the fuel and the air mixture there is the petrol and the air mixture is coming into the cylinder so this is known as a suction stroke so next compression stroke in this compression stroke both the inlet valve and the exhaust valve are closed completely uh, the pistons move upwards in the intake stroke the piston is the downward position so now the piston move upwards so as to compress the mixture inside the cylinder this is known as the compression stroke so next stroke is the power stroke in this power stroke the inlet valve and the outlet valve was closed as usual and now the piston that is upward starts moving downward and the ignition plug here we have the ignition plug it starts to ignite that is it gives a spark so that the fuel inside the cylinder starts to burn so when it burns the pressure increases so that the pistons moves downwards this is known as the power stroke the igni in power stroke the ignition ignition plug uh, sorry uh, the spark plug here here it is known as the spark it is known as the spark plug the spark plug ignites so as the fuel starts to burn inside the cylinder so the pressure increases so the piston moves downwards this is the power stroke so next exhaust stroke this is the fourth and the final step in exhaust stroke the inlet valve is kept closed here we can see the inlet valve is kept closed and the exhaust valve is kept open through this exhaust valve and the gases remaining gases the burnt out residues comes out through the exhaust valve so this is known as the uh, exhaust stroke this is the final step after this again the first step that is the intake stroke or the suction stroke starts to repeat so uh, this is how the cycle will continuously repeat and thus the uh, vehicle or the uh, wheels try uh, starts to move so next uh, these are the four steps here we can see the elaborated view so intake stroke compression power exhaust here the wall here the inlet valve is open uh, the air mixture comes into the cylinder and then the piston moves downwards after that the compression the piston moves upwards after that the third one uh, the two uh, walls are closed and the spark plus the igniter the material inside the inside the cylinder starts to burn and after that the residues come out through the exhaust uh, wall and the uh, and the shaft is rotated so this is the working of the 
uh, four stroke working process so so we can see the first step so first one second one third one and fourth one so first intake it is intaking and then the compression takes place ignition third one fourth one the exhaust to wall the so this is advantage it is less fuel consumption and thermal efficiency more in this petrol engine and the wear and tear loss is very less so disadvantages what are the disadvantages means they require more components in take outlet wall so they are they are in need of very more components so it is more complicated and so it requires more amount of money to construct this so thank you students that's all we'll meet in next video